Kia ora How's everyone doing? Um, I missed doing a, uh, well I missed a couple of videos because I've been super busy in my private life with doing a wedding dress and bridesmaid's dresses and Nova's come to say hi. So if you can hear mewing in the background, that is young Nova looking for attention. Hello, this is Nova. Hello Nova Puss. I got my money out on payday and I went and spent the groceries, petrol, fun and pin money. I, I've used that. I have this is my pin money. I've got ten dollars of the twenty left and there's some change as well. So that's gonna last me through until next Wednesday and it's Sunday today. So I feel fairly confident that's gonna be fine. But I've jumped on today to do all the sinking funds. So first things first, let's get my daughter's allowance out of the way. She gets $14 because she's 14. So I'll put that aside for her. As for the rest, we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 105. The second half of this video, I've got more money stashed in here, and that's for my savings challenges. Um, sinking funds. I think I mentioned the last time I was on that um, I had one of my cats was being spayed, and I had saved up for that. The very next day, uh, the second of my adult cats um, was unwell, and I hate to say it, but um, her, the costs of getting her well were very expensive. I'll show you that in a minute. But just for now, into dentist, I'm gonna put 10. Well, I am gonna put 10, but off camera, I did a little bit of condensing. So this is gonna be tricky. Let's have a look in the old savings challenges, see what, what change we can make from this. Oh, look, we can do that. Nova, you're gorgeous, but get your butt out the way. All right, and oh, I can probably, Do that too. Pretends there. That should do us, I think. I hope. Alright, we'll get back to this binder and um, do my savings challenges in just a tick. But let's do the sinking funds aspect. So back to dental, I wanted to put a tenner in that. And our total now is 150, 250. 70, 80, 280. Kids' fun is getting 10. Fur bays is getting 10. These are all empty. Obviously, the fur bays, I pulled all of that for looking after the cats and their various issues, kids fun, I pulled all of that um, to help with paying for presents for a birthday party my son went to. Car is getting five and in actual fact I had to pull I think it was $55 from car to help with the pets so I pulled from everything basically it took all of my emergency funds. She was in um, pet hospital for two days, needed full blood work, x-rays the whole nine yards so yeah it was expensive but and I know there's people in my family who were like you spent what on the cats why didn't you just put them down the thing is with um, my older cat the issue is totally treatable and she'll require um, some pain meds probably significant amount of time or you know medium to long term but um, 
once we got her on those pain meds, yeah, she improved within 24 hours. Anyway, that's 65. Celebrations is getting, well, overall it's getting 20 today. And Easter is three weeks away, so I kind of feel like I need to chuck it in Easter. Um, my target for Easter is $50, and now I have 20, 30, 40, 45, 47. So I'm basically there. And next week when I stuff the remaining, um, then I'll go back to focusing on Christmas. Kind of stuff that up. I always meant to like only do half of it. Doesn't matter. I know that I'm nearly there. And it's good to have it a little bit in advance so I can shop around for the specials. Christmas, I am going to skip. Birthdays is getting 10. My nephew's birthday was last week and his um, celebration was yesterday. So I'm going to be working on the next family member whose birthday is in May. Yeah, the end of May. So just $10 into there. And that's that until Wednesday. My black binder is kind of my short-term savings. Household, I'm skipping. Pin money, I've already given myself. Beauty, I was gonna put 10 in there. Because it has 10, so now, now that's 20. Health is going to get 20. More likely to focus on the health than um, say beauty and clothes for the next wee while. Just because I know we're gonna run out of vitamins really soon. So health has 10, 15, 25. giving 10. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I was um a little bit nervous about leaving stuffing my sinking funds and stuff until this end of the week because I've been carrying the money around in my um, purse the last few days and there was always the danger that I would overspend and in a sense I, I did I've spent more than the $90 I had um, allotted myself but that was because I got my dad gave me $40 for petrol he's been uh, he had an operation and he can't drive at the moment so I've been um, driving to him to his medical appointments and getting his shopping and stuff like that. So it was totally unexpected and unnecessary. Um, you know, we're family, help each other out. Um, but getting that $40 this week was really awesome. It allowed me to go get some meat and stuff for the family barbecue um, last night. Okay, now on to my favorite part, which is the mini savings challenges. Now I got this binder second hand. I just a couple of weeks ago decided that I would put a decal on it. Spruce it up a little bit. Okay, the cash is here, but I've also got some coinage, I think. And look at that. I have in here an Aussie dollar. It's a fun fact. The New Zealand dollar is a little bit smaller, but uh, we not infrequently get Australian money um, mixed in with our money 
and you can st it's not really legal tender but you can still use it um, people still accept it in payment for things so there's two four six seven eight there and in cash I have 20, 40, 60, 75. So you set this up. Now I have I do have a plan, a vague plan of what I wanted to do, but I did that plan so long ago. <laughs> I don't know. I might stuff it up. Well the first thing I haven't done is get my colour pencils, so hold on. Here we are. So for this mini savings challenge, I put February, but I'm not doing it in date order, I'm just doing it. This is going to go towards my dental fund. And I think this week I'm going to do $6, which is two little sprouts. Is this challenge I'm gonna give that 10 so that's two little paws what I might do is put in a 20 and take out 10 so I've got 20 45 in there currently this is going to be handy to bulk bulk up that pet envelope back in my sinking funds because obviously that took quite a massive hit so that's all for the little mini savings now oh yes I've got some IOUs so the last time I did Yena I owed myself five dollars up today and cross that off how cute is this this was made by Liz at Liz and Ness I'll link her below if you want to go and check out her offerings she sells on Etsy like I do and um, I also sell on felt which is the Kiwi version of Etsy living in the moment this is for my hair appointment in April. And to be honest with you, with last week with having such a um, high expenditure week, I'm not entirely sure that I'm gonna be able to afford to go do the hairdresser next month, but we'll see how we go. We are just gonna put in the extra well I actually put if I put four in there I can swap that for a ten so the tracker is a hundred and fifty worth each element is ten I've got twenty thirty forty fifty and then I have that beauty envelope back in the black binder that's what I normally use to fund going getting my hair done. Quarter one. Of course I missed out last week, but the week before I owed it five. In addition to that five, I feel like I want to put I'm 
thinking, thinking. Let's cross that off. What if I go five, and I do that 25 there, and I do that 10. So it's 35 on the card plus the five. That gives us $40. This savings challenge I'm going to be using for funding that month ahead binder that's in the back of my my green thing. I've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 135, 40. 140 in there, which is a tidy sum. Um, and this, I'm doing this instead of emergency fund. So I'm trying to save to have, be a month ahead on bills. And my rent is going up um, next month by 20 bucks. I think I'll just record a separate video because this will be too long talking about that. A bit of a nightmare. I am going to start tacos. Um, this is Michelle Free to Fly. She did this as an A4 sheet, which I chopped up. And I just keep the I Love Tacos sign in there. This is my old takeaways. And what I've got at the back. I like this because it's flexible. So I've chosen that each of these will be $3 worth. And the way I'm gonna mark them off is use some stickers. My sister-in-law is a, um, or was a teacher, so we've got loads of little stickers. I thought this would be a great way to start to use them. So that will be two, four, six dollars in the taco fund. This will be for celebratory dinner out once I finish my masters. This one, I think I'm just going to put a dollar in it, just to feel like I'm moving forward. Right, so each element's worth a dollar. I'll give it an Aussie dollar today. So far, I've got 10, 15, 20 in there. Now, what have I got left? I've got five, 11. I've got 11 left. These ones back here, I'm not gonna start yet. I don't wanna have too much on my plate and be spread too thinly. Let's go back to Let's have a go at Kinna and the Kitty. I think I might put five dollars in here. Oh, this is free by the way. This is a free savings challenge. Um, it was just really to thank um, all you that have subscribed to um, see what I'm up to with my finances. Um, so I will link that one below too. So far I've got 10, 20, 30, 5, 40 in there. And that's a $100 savings challenge. And if you're new here and you're asking what's the point um, for me I get motivated by smaller challenges that I can finish faster once I've saved up the money then it will go into um, sinking funds for for us especially with yeah my rent going up and things like that it's really important to like keep saving even if it's only a little bit okay with the six left over can't really do much in there. I could put it in this one. 
So each element's a dollar. I could put it in birthdays. That could be something. Yeah, let's do it. Let's put five dollars in birthdays. But again, this is kind of an open envelope situation, so what to do, what to do. Let's take this $5 out, put the 6 in, give myself $1 change. Throw that in. Happy birthday, so there's 15 there now for my birthday later on in the year. So that's that, and with just one dollar, we'll just go back to this one dollar savings challenge. That's the perfect way to mop up any random amounts. Just stick that in there. Do another flower. forget to um, hit the like button that helps the algorithm get this video out to more people and hopefully encourage them to save a little bit even though times are um, tightening up um, I firmly believe no matter where you are in your life you can save a little bit and for my part saving in this way visually with um, little savings challenges is really motivating and has helped me see every last dollar as having potential. Um, yeah, so happy Sunday to you all. I am um, I am really tired after the, the week that I've had with wedding dresses. Would you believe I stayed up all night on Friday night and um, got the dresses finished and they were collected at 10 in the morning. I hope that you have a wonderful week. Ciao.